Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Um. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today the chamber will hear the statements of sufferings, harms and impact des dépositions by civil parties. Le préjudice et les souffrances des parties civiles. And before we proceed, trois, on the hearing of the statements of suffering by those three civil parties. The Chamber would like to inform all the parties Mais to discuss that cela, for today's proceeding and the subsequent days. Judge Yu Utra, who is the national judge, Yu is Otara absent due to his health. Et les jours and after the de santé. consultation with the sitting judges of the trial chamber, we decided après consultation, judge Tumani, les juges a judge ont décidé de nommer le juge suppléant Tumani en attendant le retour du juge titulaire. That is based on rule 79.4 of the ECCC en application du règlement de la règle 79.4 du règlement intérieur des CETC. The parties and the public are also informed that uh, Judge Claudia Fens, ailleurs, the international la juge, uh, judge, Claudia Fens, is juge absent today and the following day is due to her urgent business, personal business. Et durant les prochains jours, pour des raisons urgentes d'ordre personnel. And due to time difference between Cambodia and Compte the United States, entre le and as we actually scheduled to hear a witness, a civil party, in fact, tomorrow on the 6th and the 7th of June 2013 through a video link. Sachant qu'il était prévu d'entendre des dépositions par vidéoconférence, The sitting time for tomorrow is at 8.30 a.m. Demain, l'audience commencera à 8h30. And we will recess at 11.30. And for the afternoon session, it will be l'audience de l'après-midi unchanged. As we will have a witness appeared in person for the afternoon session. Car durant l'après-midi, la partie civile viendra déposer en personne. Also, for Friday afternoon, that is the 7th of June, 2013, l'après-midi du vendredi 7 the juin, the chamber will commence the afternoon session at 1 p.m. and will adjourn at 3:30 p.m. Mr. Dao and Sun, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? De faire rapport sur la présence des parties et autres personnes. Dao and Sun, Mr. President, all parties to the case are present, and Nuji is present in the holding cell downstairs. Based Toutes on les parties the sont présentes, chamber, sauf le mon chair qui se trouve dans la cellule temporaire, conformément à la décision rendue par la Chambre en tenue de son état de santé, les trois parties civiles, TCCP4, TCCP4, TCCP145 et TCCP141. Uh, present and awaiting to be called by the chamber. Elles attendent d'être convoquées dans le prétoire. President, thank you. And before we invite the civil party into Merci. the courtroom, Avant de faire we would like to inquire from the lead co-lawyers as for the process of uh, listening, of hearing the statements of the three civil parties. 
Yeah, do you have any, any request to be made uh, for the procedural purpose? Décidé de procéder? Oui, um, Maître good morning, Pic Mr. President, and your honors. Bonjour. For the three civil parties, we will process as follows. For TCCP4, Ms. Nuchin Sakati will question concerning TCCP4. Party. va commencer par l'interroger. She will briefly make a, a, a statement and put the questions uh, to the civil party. As for the second civil party, there is TCCP 145. That civil party will be questioned by the assigned lawyer Sam Sukun. The civil party will express the statement of suffering and if the necessary, the assigned lawyer will put the questions to the civil party. And for the last civil party, the civil party will be questioned by Emmanuel, the assigned lawyer. The assigned lawyer will Emmanuel first confirm Jacobi. about the documents and then put the questions to the civil party. Thank Des you. questions seront posées à la partie civile sur la base des documents pertinents. Ba som som pitia euh bantech euh samrap dam bandang rot vini tiang 3 ruk ni. The three civil parties all have questions for the accused. Les trois parties civiles auront des questions à poser aux accusés. President, thank you. Le président, merci. Court officer, could you invite the civil party to the TCCP4 President, good morning, Madam Civil Party. Bonjour, Madame la Partie Civile. May we know your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? Réponse. Civil Party. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. President. Je My name is Sopani Bay. Sopani Bay. Le Président, Madame Sopani. President. Quel âge avez-vous? How old are you? Answer. I am Monsieur le Président, j'ai 67 ans. Le Président, merci. Question. Where were you Où born? Né? Réponse. Answer. I was born in Kampong Chlang province. Dans la province de Kampong Chlang. Question, where is your current address? Le président. Answer. Où résidez-vous actuellement? I réponse. live in San Jose in California, America. À San Jose, Question. en Californie, aux états unis What are the names of your Question. parents? Answer, my father's 
Réponse. Mon père s'appelle Khoinim et ma mère Sing Sin. Question. Êtes-vous marié Si oui, comment s'appelle votre époux et combien d'enfants avez-vous Réponse. Am I am married? Je suis marié His name is Saren Bay. à Sarin Bay. And we Bay. Have three children, Nous avons one son trois enfants, un fils et deux filles. Thank you. Le président. Merci. As a civil party before this court, you en tant que parti civil, vous aurez l'occasion de faire une déclaration suffering, concernant les souffrances que vous avez endurées sur le plan matériel, psychologique ou physique which are the direct result of aux the conséquences crimes. directes des crimes allégués vous ayant the crimes that have been charged against the à vous constituer parti civil crimes Kim allégués Sampon, reprochés aux accusés and which took que Sampan et Nguyen et remontant à l'époque du régime du camp de Chia démocratique du 17 avril 1975 au 6 janvier 1979. Vous serez d'abord interrogé par votre avocat et après quoi vous aurez l'occasion de faire votre déclaration concernant vos souffrances et le préjudice que vous avez subi. The floor is now given to the assigned lawyer Je donne for à présent la parole to to à l'avocat de cette partie civile. Je vous en prie. Thank you, Your Honor. If I may make a brief introduction before I begin my questions. Avant d'interroger cette personne, j'aimerais Your Honor, Mrs. Safani Bay is a direct Madame victim Sopani of the forced Bay evacuation of Phnom Penh. She submitted her victim information to the court. That's document number D22-3850. Her victim information form was written in both Khmer and English, and that's available at ERN 00571050. The French ERN is 00846057-72. The Khmer translation is at 0086-5219-26. And the English translation is 0086 She was admitted by OCIJ as a victim of the forced transfer from Phnom Penh. Her testimony today will detail her experience under the Khmer Rouge regime and the resulting impact of these traumatic events. We will hear that as a mother alone with her children on the day of the evacuation, Mrs. Bay was forced to flee her home with her six-month-old baby and her two small children, with only one small pack of clothes, milk, and water to sustain them. Her testimony today will describe the harm she and her children endured during the march out of Phnom Penh and the devastating loss of all three children as a result of the regime. À cause de ce régime. Mrs. Bay left Cambodia in 1983, where she was reunited with her husband. She will explain that even though she left Cambodia and now resides in the U.S., her suffering continues to this day. At present, she's a mental health counselor at the Gardner Mental Health Center in San Jose, California. This is a clinic that was created as a special program to assist victims of the Khmer Rouge regime in that country. Dans and have been identified as having overwhelming mental health problems related to trauma 
accueillant des patients Mrs. connaissant Bay de graves troubles psychologiques, comme elle le dira, ces symptômes ne sont pas uniques, elle constate les mêmes symptômes parmi ses clients et la communauté qui l'entoure, l'expliquera que la guerre a déchiré sa communauté, mais qu'en plus, elle-même et son mari se sont retrouvés sans enfant, privés de famille élargie, avec un sentiment d'isolement et de solitude qui perdure à ce jour. À présent, je vais poser des questions à cette partie civile concernant son expérience sous l'éclair rouge. Bonjour, Madame Bay. Before we begin talking about your experiences de de under the Khmer Rouge, will you first Rouge, describe to the court what your life was like before April 1975? Avant le mois avril 1975. Good morning, Good morning, Council, and Bonjour, good morning, Maître. Mr. Bonjour, President Monsieur le Président, and Mesdames, Jonas. Messieurs les Juges. Today, I'm grateful that I Je suis reconnaissant de pouvoir venir ici depuis les États-Unis pour comparaître devant cette chambre et ainsi faire une déclaration sur les souffrances que j'ai vécues. Under the Khmer Rouge sous le régime des Khmer Rouges de 1975 à fin 1978. Before the 17th April 1975, je vivais à Phnom Penh. J'étais enseignante. And my husband at the time à l'époque, mon mari colonel colonel était lieutenant-colonel. C'était le cadet the first wife of the Marshal Lunau. I had three children. The eldest son was Sopanavung Bay, alias Paul. And my daughter's name was Bottom Kunti Bay, alias Pin. And my true month baby at the time was Lila Bay, alias Pom. I was living with my husband and my family, and in late 1974, my husband was assigned by the government to study in Fort Benning in Columbus, in Georgia, for the senior official military role, and I was living in my, with my three children in Phnom Penh at the time. And can you tell the court Question. what happened to you on April 17, 1975? On the 17th April 1975, Khmer Rouge soldiers entered Phnom Sont à Phnom Penh. They were walking everywhere along the streets. On les voyait partout, they were dressing en rue. in black uniforms, Ils and every one of them, male and female, noir. were armed. Et tous, they had stern facial expression. Leur expression était and those Khmer soldiers fermée. began firing Ils ont shots into the air and chased the people to immediately leave their et houses à and les gens Phnom Penh. De I was terrified. I could not imagine that uh, that they would do, do that. Je pas imaginer qu'ils puissent agir ainsi. I carried my youngest child, and together with my two other children, I could not manage to carry enfants, any much belonging. Je pas pu so I only chose. got a clothes for each of my child j'ai emporté un vêtement and some pour milk chacun and de mes enfants and i placed them all in ainsi a carry que bag du lait that i used to uh, use it for going to school and j'ai mis ça I dans un sac à provisions que j'utilisais pour aller enseigner j'ai dû partir tout de suite chest and warned car by the Khmer Rouge les Khmer Rouge 
et pressaient de nous en aller en disant que les Américains allaient bombarder la ville très prochainement. Ils disaient que nous ne partirions que pour trois jours. J'ai donc dû partir. Sinon, j'aurais été tué. Ou en tout cas, je n'imagine pas ce qui s'est passé. J'avais en effet des photos de mon mari en uniforme militaire dans ma maison. Il y avait aussi des photos des membres de ma famille qui a So, together with my three children, bag, donc avec mes trois enfants et avec mon sac contenant des vêtements, je suis allé allé house, whose chez husband was the ma belle-sœur, vice minister of the general mobilization named Van Sarin. Van Sarin, But responsable de la mobilisation. Mais les Khmer Rouges m'ont empêché d'y aller. J'ai donc dû suivre la direction qu'on m'a fixée. Je ne savais pas où aller. La confusion régnait. J'ai donc continué à me laisser porter par le flot. J'ai emprunté une rue latérale pour arriver à la rue principale. Les rues étaient bondées. Took a long time to move forward. On avançait très lentement. And I was on the main road near J'étais sur la route we principale près de Chamkarmon. Uh, Nous allions dans le sens fixé so par les Khmer Rouges. Nous sommes arrivés à Kamal Tnaut et à Chamkarmon. Et sur la comme j'ai observé sur le jour, et ce jour-là, j'ai assisté à un spectacle effroyable. J'ai vu des cadavres, des cadavres de soldats de Lonnol, des cadavres de personnes âgées, d'enfants et de femmes enceintes. J'ai aussi assisté à une autre scène. C'était des handicapés et des gens qui avaient encore des conduits à oxygène dans les narines. On était en pleine saison chaude et nous devions marcher en plein soleil. We kept moving very Nous avons continué à avancer très sun, lentement, together en pleine chaleur. J'étais avec I mes trois enfants. Je les serrais très près de moi, I car j'avais peur de les perdre. Et près de moi, car j'avais peur de les perdre. Nous sommes passés par Kabal puis Chaba Ampe, et ensuite, we were heading nous avons pris la direction de Trausla. The journey took us several days before we could leave Phnom Penh. We had to stop and rest at empty houses. Nous devions nous arrêter pour nous reposer dans des maisons vides. Il y avait une maison qui appartenait à des Chinois. Nous reposions dans n'importe quelle maison vide comme les autres voyageurs. So we just kept going, and nous avons marché jusqu'à un moment où nous sommes arrivés dans une zone où il y avait beaucoup de manguiers. Il pleuvait, je n'avais rien pour abriter mes enfants. Nous sommes donc réfugiés sous un manguier. Nous étions trempés. J'ai eu mon jeune bébé. Close to my chest, and I Je serrais the baby mon bébé sur ma poitrine pour le protéger de mon corps. To go le matin, the Khmer les Khmer Rouges nous ont chassés. Nous devions and continuer. From that day, my à compter de ce jour-là, mon bébé sick. est tombé malade. That was because of the impact of being soaked under the rain and because of the extreme heat. She got fever. 
Après vous avoir été trempé, elle a attrapé la fièvre, moi aussi et mes autres enfants But également. We had to force to Mais move, nous devions nous forcer à avancer conformément aux ordres des Khmers Rouges. Nous ne savions pas quelle était notre destination. Nous sommes and my children, Trausra, situation became worse. Et la situation so de mes I decided enfants to stay in that Trau Sla village. De rester dans le village de Trau Sla. We went to take refuge under the house of the best people. Réfugiés dans la maison de gens du peuple de base. Those best people had a pity on us. Because they saw Ces gens du peuple de base ont eu pitié de nous, car ils ont vu que j'avais de so jeunes enfants. Ils nous ont donné un peu de nourriture. Mais les soldats Khmer Rouges ont réprimandé les gens du peuple de base et leur ont dit d'arrêter we de donner de nourriture. Et on nous a dit que nous devions loger loin du uh, peuple de base. Class. En raison de ma classe yes, sociale. Je faisais partie du peuple person, nouveau. J'étais une personne du 17 avril. Et les villageois ont été considérés comme membres du peuple de base. So the Khmer soldiers chased me away, chased us away Donc les Khmer Rouges nous ont the, chassés, nous ont envoyé en périphérie du village et nous ont dit d'aller construire notre abri là-bas. Et par nous-mêmes. My youngest baby was Becoming even seriously sick. Mon jeune bébé devenait de plus en plus malade. The Khmer Rouge soldiers threatened us. I had to go into the forest. Et comme les soldats Khmer Rouge nous ont menacés, j'ai dû aller dans la forêt. And to pick the palm tree leaves with my two elder children. Aller chercher des feuilles de palme avec mes deux les enfants. And then I borrowed a knife. J'ai emprunté un couteau. Cut some tree branches. J'ai coupé quelques branches d'arbre. And then I dug the crown and erect the those palm tree leaves uh, as our shelter. But I could not stay there for long as my daughter became seriously sick. Mais je n'ai pas pu demeurer là-bas longtemps car I ma plus jeune fille est tombée malade. J'avais avec moi une balle de, de diamant que ma belle-sœur m'avait donnée quand je m'étais marié. Donc j'ai donc échangé ce magandiamant en échange de the best médicaments avec les gens du peuple de base. Au début, je l'avais échangé pour 25 canettes de riz and then I exchanged the et par la suite, j'ai échangé le riz contre de l'aspirine. J'ai reçu 10 pastilles d'aspirine et d'autres médicaments aussi pour pouvoir and me traiter moi et mes But, enfants. Uh, the not the of my children, Mais les médicaments n'ont pas fonctionné chez mes enfants, surtout chez ma plus jeune she fille. Got elle a eu la she dysenterie. Not eat elle ne pouvait rien manger car elle vomissait à chaque fois qu'elle mangeait. So I went around looking for anyone who had the medical experience to help my children. One villager then advised me to walk about four or five kilometers from the village, and that I would find a military hospital. So I went along by carrying my. Daughter je suis allé, j'ai porté ma fille jusque-là avec I les autres enfants. J'ai vu un soldat. Medic. On m'a dit qu'il était le I soignant. J'ai supplié ce soignant militaire. Asking him to save my je lui ai demandé de sauver mes enfants. I told them that my children got fever and dysentery je leur ai dit que mes enfants avaient la fièvre et la dysenterie. Et ne pouvait rien manger. Le soin m'a dit d'amener mes enfants. Il y avait quelques lits. 
young baby on the bed. On dit de mettre Then la he came back Il est revenu with some kind of medicine and the, he injected my baby on the skin on on top of the skull I did not dare ask what it was upon the time he took away the needle my youngest child got seizure and dès qu'il passed a away I cried mon bébé That was the first time that I witnessed such a tragedy in my life. La fois que I had my baby tragedy. and we all cried. In the afternoon, I carried uh, my dead, the dead body of my youngest daughter to bury in the forest nearby. I carried the dead body to the forest nearby and then I buried her myself. There were only two people who helped me dig uh, the pit and I put my dead, uh, the dead body in the pit. And I put a, a wooden post on the grave so that I could recognize uh, it later on. At that time, I was very confused. I was in the state of uh, confusion. I could not do anything. I became very forgetful. And since then, uh, the Khmer Rouge soldier made me to work extremely hard uh, from morning till night. I had to plant corn. My two other kids uh, stay at home. Nobody took care of them. They stayed at home alone and I had to go to the corn field uh, to work. And upon my return uh, at home, uh, I did not see my two kids. I was very, very shocked. I had to try to look for my uh, kids. And then a uh, few minutes later, uh, they came back home. I was happy. They carried with them uh, two small branch of uh, trees. And then my younger sister told uh, me that uh, she used this uh, small uh, branch uh, of a uh, tree uh, to dig something uh, for uh, some to look for something for it and they uh, told me every day about what they had to do and i was uh, very shocked uh, upon hearing what they had to do uh, during the daytime so i decided to leave uh, the place i decided i attempted to leave uh, the place uh, twice but i uh, could not do it because i was eventually arrested by the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier, and upon arresting me, they, the Khmer Rouge warned me uh, not to attempt to leave uh, the place. I had to uh, stay on, and then on the third attempt, I could uh, leave uh, the place. I had to take a small uh, boat over there, crossing the uh, river, and then I uh, went to another village. At that time, uh, I I uh, got to that village, and then uh, there was a truck taking the uh, Chinese back to Phnom Penh in order to plant vegetable. And then I uh, begged them to get on the truck by themselves, and then they asked me, I was not Chinese, why uh, did I get on the truck? I told, I uh, begged them uh, to uh, kindly give me the lift uh, to Phnom Penh. So at that time, when we got to uh, Phnom Penh, the place where they uh, grow vegetable, they did not uh, took the uh, they did not ask the people to leave the truck. They continue uh, to take uh, us uh, to Tuol Pagoda near Kampung Kantut. Over there, there was a military base. It was uh, the battalion, a battalion, and there were many Khmeru soldiers. They were wearing black uniform, and they were fully armed. Uh, they came to take us. Uh, from the truck, and then they brought us to uh, an empty house, and people were packed in that house at that time. It was completely dense with uh, people. It was like a bunch of banana. People were staying in such a dense and, uh, a house, and then 
the Khmer Rouge made the people uh, to clear the uh, bushes and forests in order to uh, clear the forest for uh, farming. We had to do it. Uh, it was a very uh, difficult uh, job. Uh, we got stung by insects, uh, and uh, we had to work until we could clear the forest uh, for uh, farming. And then after we uh, had cleared the forest, they uh, made us to uh, plow the field. At that time, they did not use uh, buffaloes or any animals to plow the field. Uh, they uh, use uh, human labor to plow the field. And those who resist going or those who pretend to be lazy, they would uh, be bitten instantly. They uh, harshly uh, bit uh, them. I had to work over there. It was in that place that my uh, son, Paul Sovannabong, one day my son uh, asked to follow me uh, to work. He did not want to go to, uh, did, did not want to stay at home. Then the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier did not allow my son to follow me uh, to the uh, rice field. Two Khmer Rouge soldiers then um, took my son out, and then one of the Khmer Rouge soldiers put a gun inside my son's mouth. My son was crying, but he, his tear did not drop, but he was crying very, very hard. The Khmer Rouge uh, told my son and me that uh, my son was not a Cambodian son. He was an American son. He was an imperialist son. Look at him. Uh, he was crying, but his uh, tear did not drop out. Um, then the Khmer Rouge soldier told me that uh, he did not, he would not kill my son, but he had to uh, threaten him so that he would not uh, follow uh, me uh, to work. Then one, of the other soldier of the Khmer Rouge, uh, pointed the guns at my back, uh, pushing me uh, to go to work. I begged uh, them uh, for mercy. I begged them not to kill my son. If they killed my son, they had better kill me. Uh, I told them at that time, and uh, he took uh, he a scarf in to tie my uh, son's uh, hand together. My son was screaming uh, very hard at that time, but of course his uh, tear did not come out. He put my son in a small pond. My son was still screaming. And as for my daughter, um, she did not want to follow me, but she uh, wanted to follow her brother. So I had no choice but to uh, go to work. So I had to continue walking. But while walking, I turned back to look uh, to Mais look at my son, marché, what would happen to my son. Je, then je when de I uh, look at uh, them, and then uh, my son and the daughter uh, decided to run after me. And uh, they, when they got to me, uh, he fell down. He could not say anything. He just fell down on my feet. And my uh, daughter, my son could not say anything because he had lost all of his energy and words. And then, they, uh, my, uh, then my daughter uh, told me everything. And then I untie uh, my sons, uh, then I saw uh, the, the bleeding on the uh, hands. I felt very, very sorrowful at that time. And since then, my two uh, children, uh, body got uh, swollen, and then they got very sick, and their situation only uh, got worse each day. The Khmer Rouge did not give us food uh, to eat every day. I only received only, only a cup of watery uh, cruel. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the adults, as for kids, uh, they were given only half of a cup of watery gruel. I at that time had one watch with me, uh, a Seiko brand. I uh, had hidden it uh, in some somewhere uh, in somewhere along my vest. I took this uh, wristwatch 
uh, to exchange uh, for some medicine uh, from the villages. I got some uh, vitamin uh, B on B1. I received only eight tablets of vitamin B1 in exchange for this rest watch. And upon getting these uh, pills, I administered uh, them to my uh, children. But the situation, the condition of my children did not get better because the body, their bodies were swollen all over. And then the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier sent me to another military base, uh, 320. Uh, this uh, base uh, was known as 320. At that place, uh, the Khmer Rouge soldier made me to work very hard. I had to carry earth um, every day. Uh, they wanted to build a dam over there. I stayed there for three months. Then they uh, continued to send me to another new place, which I did not know its whereabouts. And then the Khmer Rouge soldier uh, took uh, biography of me. I told them that I was a former teacher, but the Khmer Rouge soldier did not believe in me, and then they stared at me with a very stern impression. They said that uh, I was not a teacher. I was a TV commentator uh, during the Lono regime. Uh, from that day onward, the Khmer Rouge uh, undertook surveillance on my activity day and night. And then uh, they took me and my children, as well as others, uh, to be located somewhere in Tiso uh, Mountain. Over there, we had to work extremely hard. Uh, we had to uh, break um, the stones, uh, and we had to stay in a very miserable uh, hut. Uh, we had to work extremely hard, breaking rocks. Uh, we work all the time. Whenever the Khmer Rouge uh, asked us to work, we had to work. There is no uh, working hour for us. It was in that place that my son got uh, even worse, and I ran out of any medicine at all. I had no idea what to uh, do uh, with my uh, sick son. And in addition, the Khmer Rouge soldiers starved us. They did not give us any food uh, to eat at all. Uh, when we stayed there for two days, we had nothing to eat. We only ate uh, the wild plant leaf. Uh, we boiled them and then ate the wild plant leaf. And I also begged some people for some uh, rice uh, that I beg other people for, uh, together with some uh, palm fruit that I pick uh, along the uh, way. And then I, I prepare that Préparer for uh, the food at that time. And then on that night, when we Quelque were so starving, we did not have anything to eat but uh, the uh, plant lived, I uh, cried very feuille. painfully. I hugged my two children. I did not know, actually, while at that night uh, I uh, hugged my son. I did not know when my son passed away. And the next morning when I got up, I saw my son. Uh, he was motionless. He, his but the temperature got very cold, and I did not know. I tried to open uh, the eyes of my son. I tried to feel uh, him on the nose, uh, but then I realized that my son had already passed away. It was a very miserable thing in my life. We had nothing to eat. I believe that we die because of starvation. And in the afternoon, I carry. I carried the dead body of my son, uh, myself, uh, to bury. Nobody helped us, uh, only some people who took pity on our family. They helped us to dig uh, the pit uh, to carry, to bury our son. I uh, buried my uh, son to bury uh, somewhere near the foothill of uh, Chiso Mountain, and then I put a stone, and I carved a stone myself, just carved the name of my son, Paul. I put it on uh, the grave of my son. Then when I came back home, my 
only son, my only daughter, rather, at home. Uh, she got sick and very, very sick. And at that time, she, uh, her condition was uh, very terrible, and then I could not uh, do anything to help. I did not have any medicine to administer anything, and eventually my daughter, my only daughter, died. And my daughter, my last daughter who died, she was a very clever, a very clever daughter. She is only five at that time, but she continued to talk to me until, until uh, she died. She told me that, uh, Mommy, please uh, take me to the doctor. Please uh, give me some medicine. I wanted to leave with you. I want to stay with you. I did not want to go away from you. And then just uh, minutes later, she told me that mommy uh, been, would not survive, would not live with you. When will our father come back from the United States? Why did he stay so long in the United States? You, mommy, had to find father. And then she died immediately. Then when my last daughter died, I became almost insane. I could not do anything. This was the last time that I had nothing left for my life. I became almost insane. I did not talk to anybody. I cried myself. I wanted to die with my uh, children because I had nothing left. I had nothing left. My children were all dead. After that miserable period, I became almost insane myself. And some people even call me Nyung Bandacha, a sorrowful lady. This uh, was the tragedy in our family. It was the consequence of the Khmer Rouge regime. Uh, they died because of the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier. And I would like to appeal to the court uh, to find justice. And I would like everyone in this court to understand my uh, sorrowful life. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, I'd like to display a photograph on the screen. Uh, this is in the case file under document number E285.1.1. That's ERN 00910047. Mrs. Bay, do you recognize this photograph? Madame Bay, reconnaissez-vous la photo? Yes, this is oui. this is the photo of my youngest daughter, Lee Lavaday, alias Pom. I also uh, bring this uh, hard copy photo with me. This is the photo of my youngest daughter. Uh, she was injected on her head by the Khmer Rouge uh, medic, and then she died instantly after uh, that. She was the first uh, daughter to die. And how did you know that the person that injected her head was Khmer Rouge? que la personne qui lui a donné une injection dans le crâne était un Khmer Rouge. The President, um, Civil Party, please uh, hold on until the microphone is activated. Response: Because the villager told me that uh, this was the hospital of the Khmer Rouge. Thank you. And do you have any other photographs of your children to this day?
No, I do not have any other photo. This is the only single uh, photo that I sent uh, to my husband in the United States just a week uh, prior to the uh, Khmer Rouge entering uh, Phnom Penh. That's why he only had this uh, photo uh, with him. And I do not have any other photos uh, of my other children. The Khmer Rouge uh, destroyed all of them. Thank you, Mrs. Bay. Now, at the end of the war, Merci, how many Bay. members of your family survived? When the Khmer Rouge regime was over, I had nothing left, completely nothing left. I had to try to look for my parents in Kampung Chnang, but they all disappeared. I saw no one. I saw empty uh, land and only palm trees. I asked the villager. The villager told me that the Khmer Rouge had exterminated my family. They had killed my father first. I had to look for my families on my husband's side, but again, they were all killed. They exterminated my family, uh, both on my side and my uh, husband's side. I had nobody left. I had no relative left. I only had my husband who uh, resides in the United States. Thank you, Mrs. Bay. Now, I'd like to ask you a few questions now, if I may, about the impact of these traumatic experiences on your life. The President, uh, Council, please uh, be reminded that you have only four minutes uh, left. Uh, including the uh, questions uh, you put and the response uh, from the civil party. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, can you describe to us uh, how your experience under the Khmer Rouge affected your health? Pouvez-vous nous dire comment quelle a été l'incidence de votre expérience sur les Khmer Rouge sur votre état de santé? After I uh, reunited uh, with my husband in 1983. Uh, my husband was a handicapped uh, person, and because of the uh, suffering I sustained from the Khmer Rouge uh, regime, I became mentally sick. I also had some uh, disease uh, with me as well. I always uh, had nightmare, and uh, I at night sometimes I had. Uh, uh, nightmare, I scream, bon, I des, live des in a traumatic life uh, because of this uh, tragedy during the Khmer Rouge regime. To, until today, uh, I still uh, have nightmare jour, of the atrocity of the Khmer Rouge cauchemar. regime. At uh, night, I would uh, dream de of the Khmer Rouge soldier uh, chasing me and trying to kill me. Your Honor, uh, since we have an extra one and a half hours today, would you mind if I take a few more minutes to question the civil party? Puisque nous disposons d'une heure et demie de plus aujourd'hui, pourrais-je prendre quelques temps supplémentaires pour poser des questions à la partie civile? The President, uh, your request is not uh, granted because um, she will have to respond to the uh, questions. Uh, as well, and I don't think that you have uh, used the uh, time effectively. Can I ask another quick question? And I will ask uh, Mrs. Bay if she can answer the question very quickly. I'm and Mrs. Bay, what other symptoms? The President, uh, we have not yet granted uh, your request. Ne, of course, uh, you are now problem. granted with the last question oui. uh, for the civil party. Question. 
Your Honor, after my question, uh, Mrs. Bay also has just two questions that she'd like to pose to the accused, des if she may. Monsieur si la Chambre le permet. The, the President, President, you may proceed to put the questions, otherwise the oui. time, uh, your time will be uh, up. As I say, um, the time for the uh, civil dit. party uh, to put the question to the accused, uh, we will grant that time. Of course, uh, the uh, civil party will have time to put the question to the uh, accused. We understand the importance for the uh, civil party to put the question to the accused. That's why we remind parties, and you in particular, to put the question effectively so that uh, you will make the best use of court time. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mrs. Bay, can you quickly describe for us what other what other symptoms you experienced after you returned from the fall of the Khmer Rouge? As I said earlier, following the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, I have had a uh, psychological uh, impact. And of course, uh, physical um, suffering, I also sustained it. I got physique. wounded on my leg and I became very weak. My Je health was uh, not as good uh, as before and at night I uh, had nightmare. Um, this was uh, the uh, trauma I actually sustained as a consequence of the Khmer Rouge regime. Your Honor, may I ask one further question of the civil party? J'aimerais, Monsieur le Président, poser une dernière question. Le Président, President, you are not civil party. If you have questions for the accused, Madame la partie civile, you may proceed. Vous pouvez à présent poser vos questions aux accusés. Civil Party, Mr. President, I thank you for giving Merci, me the opportunity. I do have uh, questions to be put to the accused. I have three questions, actually. Questions à poser the, aux qu the first question is the uh, following. Question. Mr. Kirsten Paul and Mr. Nguyen Chi, you were the leaders leading the country and the regime of the Democratic Cambodia. Et du du Cambodia Democratic. Were you aware that the Khmer Rouge Saviez killed children, even the youngest children, des enfants, including et même des mine? Bébés, parmi My second question. Mon enfant, were you Mon aware bébé. that the Khmer Rouge soldiers Deuxième went question. around mistreating children, interrogating children, and forced children to tell the stories of their parents? De um, did you order those Khmer Rouge to behave in such a way? And here is my third question. If you were not aware of it, if you did not hear si it, or if you did not order for such conduct si by the Khmer Rouge, who actually did Alors, it? Who actually gave the order? A donné ses and I would like the response from you as the leaders of the regime at the time. Vous qui étiez Thank you. Les dirigeants du régime à Le In principle, your questions have to be put through the president, Vos and as Mr. Kirsten is present in this courtroom, I will now redirect the questions to Mr. Kirsten first, par la and then Mr. Nunchi Kirsten Pohn, and you may Monsieur proceed. Monchia. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honours. Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. And good morning, everyone in and Bonjour around the courtroom. À toutes les and ici présentes. my national compatriots who are present here today. Ici 
and good morning, Madame Bay Sopani. Bonjour à vous, Madame Bay Sopani. I would like to respond to your questions. Je vais répondre à vos questions. First of all, I would like to inform you that I am not the leader of the Democratic Cambodia regime, although I was labeled as the head of the state, en titre, I did not have any authority. Mais je ne possédais aucune autorité. And to respond to your question whether I was aware Vous avez that children si were killed que les by the Khmer Rouge soldiers. Tués par les soldats Khmer Rouge. And allow me to apologize. I did not know anything at all. And that Je is the truth. Rien du tout à ce sujet. I Ceci did not know anything at all regarding this matter. Je ne savais rien and to respond to your second question, Je réponds à présent à votre deuxième question. That uh, why children Vous were avez demandé mistreated and interrogated et et and were those Khmer soldiers Vous avez demandé si ces soldats given Khmer Rouge instructions to do reçu so? Des ordres dans ce sens. To respond to this uh, second question, I would say I did not know about Voici this matter. Je n'étais pas informé de cela. Through my knowledge, uh, there was no such à ma order. Connaissance, not aucun at ordre all. de ce type n'a été donné. And to respond to your last Je passe question. À votre dernière question. But before that, allow me to add to your Mais second cela, question. I personally did not give any order to any soldiers to do so. I did not have any authority over the military, je not even a smallest group of soldiers. And personally, I am not that crude and illit illiterate person like that. Un and for your third question that you asked whether if I did not know who ensuite, knew about that, qui était au courant? you said si that you moi, went to Trauy Tla. Être allé à Traui Sla. This means that the person who was responsible for that sector was the one who had the authority to do so. This is my understanding. Voilà comment je comprends les choses. So I myself would oppose such cruel and crazy act. Opposé à de tels actes but I really regret that I did not know Mais je déplore about this matter de ne and that is all. Été au courant. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The questions by the civil party and I redirected to Nunchir. And Nunchir, you may respond to the questions. President, Mr. Nunti, can you hear us? If so, can you vous pouvez respond to the questions put questions to you by the civil party? Bay Sopani. Bay Sopani. Nunti, 
นูนจีกุดมอร์นิ่งเอเวอรี่วันในแอนด์รันด์คอร์ดรูมและกุดมอร์นิ่งมิสเตอร์ปริสเดนต์และกุดมอร์นิ่งมาดามโซทีนีเซย์นูนจีถ้าผมสามารถรีคอร์ดคุณนามได้ถูกต้องมาดามโซทีนีถ้าผมจำได้ดังนั้นขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ขอให้ผมแสดงความเจ็บปวดและความทุกข์ Ce matin. And allow me to contribute to the condolences and to express my condolences to the lost. Allow me to clearly state that Democracy Cambodia did not have any policy to kill its own people. On the contrary, it only had the policies to rescue and to build the people to become a good citizen. To become the compatriots and to be loving one another. And as in the case of your children, the Democratic Cambodian regime did not have any policy to kill children, young children. And allow me to reiterate that point clearly. And please allow me to share the sorrow of. The loss of your family members, and that's all, Mr. President. Je tiens à m'associer à votre peine pour la perte des membres de votre famille. President, thank you. The floor is now given to the prosecution to put the questions to the civil party. You may proceed. La parole est à l'accusation. You have ten minutes to do so. Vous disposez de dix minutes. Merci, Monsieur le Président, et bonjour. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour à toutes les parties. Good morning to all parties. Et bonjour à Madame la partie civile. Nous avons malheureusement peu de temps et votre histoire est très très longue et très très riche en informations. We unfortunately have very little time at our disposal, and yet your story is extremely rich in detail and quite lengthy. In essaying to not harm your pain and your suffering, in essaying to not harm your pain and your suffering. Ask me a few supplementary questions, and do my best to avoid reviving your personal pain and agony. In a letter addressed to Mr. Al Santoni, you stated that you lost many members from your side of the family, from your husband's side of the family, and that they had departed in order to be executed. Je voudrais savoir comment vous avez appris cet événement et est-ce que vous savez si à l'époque où ils ont été exécutés, leur identité était connue, sachant qu'ils faisaient partie de la famille étendue de M. Lonnol. Members of Mr. Lonnol's extended family. I received information from the villagers who were from the native village of my mother-in-law. When the Khmer Rouge chased people away from their houses, my in-law families all went toward their native village that is in Rhone village in the Khmer province. So they knew of the backgrounds of my in-law families very well. That my father-in-law was the father-in-law of Marshal Lonnol. They knew about the occupation of my elder brother-in-law as well. Ils connaissaient également le métier de mon beau-frère. Est-ce que plusieurs membres de votre belle famille faisaient partie de l'armée de Lonnol ou faisaient partie des cadres de l'administration de Lonnol? Did several of your in-laws serve as officials for the Lonnell regime? My the, the relatives on my husband's side were mainly public servants and they were senior uh, government officers. For that reason, the burden was placed on the Lonnell extended families, even 
on my side, uh, my parents les, who were living in a Kampong Chang were killed because they were the in-law of the Marshal Lonor's father-in-law and the Khmer Rouge knew about that. Merci. Vous avez également fait état du Thank you. Fait You've que also told this court plusieurs amis ou plusieurs dizaines, je ne sais pas, d'amis de votre mari qui était officier dans l'armée de l'ONU, qui avait également péri sous le régime des Khmer Rouges. Est-ce que, selon vos observations, les officiers et cadres du régime de l'ONU étaient recherchés par les Khmer Rouges entre 1975 et and targeted by the Khmer Rouge during the 1975 to 1979 era. I am not sure about the chasings and the killing. Je ne sais pas bien but I knew for sure that the Khmer Rouge people killed colonial soldiers, in particular the military officers who en were in the rank similar to that of my husband. And there were only a few surviving military uh, officers who are currently living in the United States and a few are living here in Cambodia. Je voudrais revenir au traitement qui était réservé au 17 avril dans les différents villages où vous avez travaillé. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure que lorsque des villageois avaient généreusement offert de la nourriture à vos enfants, les Khmer Rouges leur avaient interdit. Est-ce que les Khmer Rouges ont expliqué davantage pourquoi ces échanges entre classes différentes étaient et pourquoi les gens du 17 avril devaient être séparés du peuple ancien the Khmer Rouge told me clearly that my social class was different from that of the best people in the village. I was told that I was considered the new people, the 17 actual people, while the villagers were considered the best people, and I should be separated from the best people. ont dit que je devais être séparé du peuple de base. Est-ce que le peuple de base et le peuple du 17 avril étaient traités de la même façon dans les différents villages où vous avez vécu, que ce soit en termes de nourriture, de charge de travail, de logement, de soins de santé ou éventuellement de disparition Difference. Oui, il y avait the best une people différence. who were considered to live in the liberated zone, Le they du peuple de base vivait more en than zone what we had. They had sufficient rice to eat. Plus que we, nous, the 17 April people, nous, only ate watery gruel nous ne with a few grains of a rice, and juste we only had a salt to eat. And sometimes we were given very little dry fish or fermented fish, but mainly we only ate with salt. And sometimes we were starved, as in my the case of the death of my son. We were not given sufficient food, and my son died. And what we had at the time was only rice bread and three leaves in the pot. How could we survive uh, with rice bran? The rice bran was mint for pigs to eat. Son de riz. Le son but de riz, we had to resort cochons. to eating rice bran Mais and three leaves. Avions dû manger, nous avons dû manger du son de riz et des feuilles d'arbre. Dans, dans le même document que j'ai cité, D22 bar. 3850 D22/3850 
et en Khmer 005-7164. Vous avez dit ceci. Pour ma part, je suis resté là pour casser des pierres, fendre de la roche comme un prisonnier de guerre. Fin de citation. Les mots prisonnier de guerre étaient-ils utilisés par les Khmer Rouges en ce qui vous concerne ou en ce qui concerne les 17 avril nous avions un statut social distinct, une classe différente de celle du peuple de base. Au travail, nous étions surveillés par des hommes armés. When we were Même sleeping, pendant la nuit, people quand nous dormions, would be walking around des gens tournaient autour de nous and monitoring us. pour nous surveiller. We were forced to break rock. Nous étions forcés and à casser to achieve des the three tau of a rocks per day for nous road construction. devions I was wounded casser in un certain nombre de pierres par jour pour construire des routes. J'étais blessé à la jambe mais j'ai dû casser and de gros morceaux de pierre. At the time, Mr. President and Your Honours, I Monsieur did not Président, have any medicine for the juges, treatment of my leg. À l'époque, je n'avais pas leg. de médicaments the pour soigner cette jambe. Ma blessure s'est infectée. Je n'ai plus pu my, marcher. Myself. To go and break rock. Mais Otherwise, je devais continuer à aller casser des pierres. Sinon, on me retirait so ma pitance. J'ai dû travailler alors que j'étais malade for the treatment of my pour soigner was to ma blessure. The tobacco je n'ai pu remains that was thrown away by the Khmer des petits morceaux de tabac que les Khmer Rouges jetaient et je m'en servais pour soigner ma plaie. Merci. Malheureusement, je n'ai pas le temps d'approfondir cette question. Thank you. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time to delve further into that matter. Dans le même document évoqué, un incident, une femme qui avait été sévèrement battue et punie par les Khmer Rouges parce que un de ses enfants avait avoué qu'elle avait volé une citrouille. Because one of her children had denounced that she stole a pumpkin. Et la femme qui était chef de l'unité était venue voir cette femme. Uh, wife of the et lui avait expliqué que son personnel ne l'avait pas frappé elle en tant qu'individu mais that plutôt she was not beaten as an individual, but le régime qu'elle représente it was, uh, en d'autres termes l'encart avait frappé le régime féodal régime, un capitaliste et impérialiste écrivez-vous est-ce que vous-même vous avez constaté uh, cette méfiance ou cette haine des chefs locaux Khmer Rouge contre ce que vous représentiez en tant que citadine, bourgeoise ou capitaliste. Vous avez dit que cette personne former soldier and who was breaking rock uh, next to me. Il y avait cette femme dont le mari avait été soldat, elle cassait des pierres à côté de moi was that while the mother was breaking rock, the Pendant children who were left behind pierres, in the village were beaten up and interrogated. They were asked whether or what the parents uh, were doing during the former regime and whether they stole anything from Ankai. When I returned from the breaking rock, I saw at the back of my children, they actually used a charcoal chalk uh, to draw or write something on the backs of my children and I noticed they did that almost every day chose. because when I returned from work my children waved and they told me that they were beaten and asked about the, the occupation of the father and the mother and whether I stole anything. And I told children Whatever they were asked, don't ever say that your father was a military officer and lived in the United States. And you have to remember that 
Parce que And si so, cela était su, il serait tué. Would I, I would be killed Et moi aussi. Well. So although my children were beaten up by the Khmer Rouge every day, as they were asked about rouge, my husband and I, my children maintained that they did not know anything. Et mes enfants avons toujours and I told que them nous that rien. they should say that my husband was a teacher and that they were de separated, que mon and that's all they should reply to the Khmer Rouge. And they remembered the phrase and they always replied the same thing. For that reason, I survived here today. But for that woman who was breaking rock nearby me, the children of the woman were asked and they were scared and then they told the Khmer Rouge soldiers that one day my Mother hit a pumpkin. Leur mère so the Khmer soldier went around looking for a, a pumpkin and they couldn't find it. So they used a piece of wood trouvé, each and began beating that woman. They tied her hands to the back and asked her femme, to dos, stand on her knees. They were, she was beaten up and she protested that she did not steal anything. But they kept beating and beating and they even kicked her in the chest. Frappés, ils lui ont donné des coups de pied dans la poitrine. The, the woman, the Khmer Rouge female who was a pregnant also kicked Il y avait une femme Khmer Rouge qui était enceinte et elle aussi a frappé cette femme à la poitrine et elle l'a réprimandé en lui disant qu'elle était une capitaliste, une capitaliste. Ils ont continué à la frapper. So the mother was beaten up Cette in front of me at the rock quarry and we, the ones who were breaking rock at the carrière. time, were told by the Khmer Rouge that the woman was beaten up because she was Et the enemy and she stole stuff and eat. Des choses pour les manger. We could not do anything. Nous ne rien we faire. kept our head down. Nous avons baisser les yeux and we were encouraged to beat that woman even if i had to die i would not lay my hand si on her mourir, jamais, this is the kind of mistreatment conducted voilà by the Khmer Rouge toward the 17th April people imposé par les Khmer Rouge au 17 avril Merci. C'est ma toute dernière question. Uh, thank you. Uh, And one final toujours question. concernant le traitement des 17 avril, le sort qui leur était réservé, à l'approche des Vietnamiens fin 1978, qu'a demandé le chef adjoint de votre village de creuser à la population du 17 avril the Vietnamese invasion. What were the village chiefs saying or doing to the 17 April people? President, prosecutor, could you repeat your question as there seems to have no interpretation in the other two languages? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, certainly, Mr. President. J'en revenais donc toujours à la, au sort réservé au 17 avril uh, et à un événement assez significatif que vous avez, dont vous avez fait mention dans votre déclaration écrite. Written statement. Uh, Pourriez-vous nous expliquer à l'approche de des troupes vietnamiennes à la fin 1978, ce qu'a demandé le chef du village où vous travaillez à la population du 17 avril. Je crois il avait été demandé de creuser quelque chose. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer de quoi il s'agissait Les vietnamiens étaient Toward the end of the regime, upon the imminent arrival of the Vietnamese troops, the Khmer soldiers forced us, the 17 April people, as that was the stage that the 17 April people were placed in a separate village, and that village was named the 17 April village. village distinct, We were forced to dig. Ils nous ont donc forcé à creuser each, une fosse, chacun une fosse, 
wide de, and de the de width was dependent on the number of the uh, family members. La I asked the mayor was why I was asked to dig a pit and I was told that it was meant for fertilizer I told the Khmer Rouge that I did not have any uh, fertilizer to put in the pit and I was by myself and I was sent to the front by the Khmer Rouge. But they kept asking me to dig, to dig a pit. It was 2 meter by 0.5 meter and 1 meter deep. But I did not complete it yet because the Vietnamese troops arrived. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Partie civile, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Je n'en ai pas d'autres. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I have no further questions to put to you. Thank you, Mr. President. President, the floor is now given to Nudier's team to put questions to this civil party. You may proceed. Do you have any issue to raise? Mr. President. Your Honor, as Mrs. Bay has flown all the way from the United States and she has very valuable information on the impact of her suffering, we asked for just five more minutes for the civil parties to pose the questions on suffering to her. Nous aimerions disposer de cinq minutes en plus pour lui poser des questions. The President, uh, you, are grant, uh, you are granted with oui. the uh, time to put the question uh, to the civil party. You have five minutes. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Mrs. Bay, I just have three more questions for you. What you described to us that you have symptoms such as nightmares. Did any of these symptoms change when you left Cambodia and came to the United States? This symptom has stayed with me until today. And I am, even though I arrived in the United States, but the traumatic experience uh, still uh, follow me. Because when I got to the United States, I look at the children of American family. I recall the time when I had with my family why my children were so unfortunate. American family and children had access to education. They live a happy life in the family. But my family's life was a complete different. I still recall uh, the time when my uh, children talked to me. I remember every word they said uh, to me whenever I recall that moment. I felt traumatic. I could not hold my tears. I, my tears run down immediately whenever I recall the past sorrowful experience in our family, particularly the tragic 
death of my children during the Khmer Rouge period. And did you have any more children at the end of the war? Aviez-vous d'autres enfants à la fin de la guerre? I do not have I do not have any any children following the uh, collapse of the regime. And as I said, my health got deteriorated during the Khmer Rouge regime. Uh, I, as a woman, I did not have any homorage, and I was living like a man. I did not have my sexual house did not allow me to have any other children. Now, Mrs. Bay, we're aware that you're a mental health counselor at the Gardner Health Center and that you work with Cambodian victims of the Khmer Rouge regime. Can you tell us what problems you see amongst these victims that are living in the U.S. today? It is true. In the present job I am holding, I provide mental counseling uh, to the people, particularly refugee, Cambodian refugee in particular, under the Cambodian program. The Cambodian refugee who have brought along with them the traumatic life that they had come across during the Khmer Rouge regime. Each and every family of the Cambodian refugee had uh, suffered uh, traumatic experience uh, during uh, that period. No family was barred from the uh, atrocity. That's why I have been working to assist a Cambodian family uh, by providing mental counseling, particularly to Cambodian families who uh, do not make a good living in the United States. Uh, we uh, provide them counseling not only to uh, reconcile them uh, uh, for the uh, traumatic experience they have come across, but also the uh, life pressure that they have uh, had uh, when they resided in the United States. Uh, those uh, Cambodian-American family uh, described to me their suffering uh, during the regime, as well as the pressures that they have, particularly those who are at the elderly uh, stage in life. Uh, they had come across the Khmer Rouge regime. They had quite similar suffering as I uh, have had. Uh, they told me about nightmare uh, that they had. I believe them completely because I myself experienced that. I still have nightmare until today. Uh, I have never had any good uh, dream. I have never had dream of uh, a glorious life in the United States. I have never dream of resettling in the United States. I only dream of the Khmer Rouge chasing after me uh, for my life. And this suffering you described, how has it affected uh, their lives in the United States, their ability to adapt to life in the United States? For, are you talking about Cambodian American families or myself? Both of you. They have suffered mental um, suffering, as uh, everyone might be well aware that the Khmer Rouge regime took place in some 30 years ago. However, the mental um, state of mind of Cambodian people uh, who came across this regime, both uh, the average Cambodian uh, family and myself, we still have this mental uh, 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 suffering.
souffrant toujours. Thank you, Mrs. Bay. And as a victim living in the United States, can you tell us quickly why did you apply to be a civil party in case two? Nous victime vivant aux États-Unis, pourquoi vous êtes-vous constitué parti civil dans le dossier numéro deux? Réponse. The suffering I have had uh, cannot be uh, compensated. My uh, tears continue to drop. I would like to appear to the court to find justice, to find justice for my dead children, to my family uh, who were killed by the Khmer Rouge. None of my family members survive uh, the regime if uh, those uh, dead family member do not find justice. I believe that Et I will not be able to die at peace si as a mother, victimes, as a daughter uh, for my, of my parents fille. and a mother of my children. I want to find justice uh, for them. And not until the justice is done for them, I am not feeling appeased. I would like to ask the court to find justice uh, for the victims. I have been waiting for a long time for the justice to be brought uh, to us. And I want to see justice. And I want to see today. And today is what I have been waiting for. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bay, and thank you, Your Honours. I have no further questions. The President, thank you. The time is now appropriate for adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes, and we will resume at 11. Court officer, please assist the civil party during the break and have her return to this courtroom by 11. The court is now adjourned. Subculture.